Malaria Thick Smear Preparation, Staining and Examination Thick peripheral blood smears consist of a thick layer of dehemoglobinized or lysed red blood cells. The blood elements, including parasites, if any, are more concentrated than in an equal area of a thin smear. Thus, thick smears have an increased sensitivity, allowing a more efficient detection of parasites. However, they do not permit an optimal view of parasite morphology. For example, they are often not adequate for species identification of malarial parasites. If the thick smear is positive for malarial parasites, the thin smear should be used for species identification. Sample EDTA whole blood venous sample or capillary sample. Equipment Clean, grease-free glass slides. Applicator sticks. Preparation of malaria thick smear. Use universal precautions while preparing the smears for malarial parasites. Label a glass slide with sample identification number. Mix the sample by inversion. Open the cap gently and check for clots by dipping the applicator stick in the tube. Next, using the applicator stick, place three to four small drops of blood on the slide. Spread the drop of blood with the corner of another slide or an applicator stick to make an area about 1.5 to 2 cm in diameter. Correct thickness is attained when newsprint is barely legible through the smear. Lay the slides flat and allow the smears to dry thoroughly. Protect the slides from dust and insects. Insufficiently dried smears and smears that are too thick can detach from the slides during staining. Protect thick smears from hot environment. Dehemoglobinization of thick smear. Dip dried thick blood smears once into a beaker containing normal water and take out immediately. Care should be taken to not wash off the smear during the process. Do not touch or wipe the wet smear. Alternatively, keep the dried smears flat. When dried, the slide is ready for staining. Staining pH should be adjusted to 7.2 for staining for malarial parasite. A number of Romanovsky stains like Fields, Jemsas, Wrights and Leishmans are suitable for staining the smears. Staining by Jemsa stain will be demonstrated here. If you are preparing your own stain, always prepare it fresh according to manufacturer's instructions. Adjust the pH to 7.2. After the smear dries, label the slide on the thick edge of the smear with another glass slide or a diamond marking pencil. This is done as the earlier markings can be washed away while staining. Add 7 to 8 drops of Jemsa stain. Let the stain stay on the slide for 20 to 30 minutes. Rinse gently for 3 minutes in a buffered water. Drain, dry and examine. Examination of the stained smear. Place the slide on the mechanical stage of the microscope. Focus the slide first using the 10x objective. Place a drop of immersion oil on the edge of the middle of the film. Position the 100x oil immersion objective over the film. Lower the oil immersion objective until it touches the immersion oil. Examine the blood film by moving along the edge of thick smear, then moving the slide inwards by one field, returning in a lateral movement and so on. An area where 10 to 20 WBCs per field are seen in a thick smear is ideal for parasite detection. Examine a minimum of 100 fields in a thick film before declaring it negative. Appearance of parasite species In a thick blood film with 100x oil immersion objective, no red blood cells are seen. The malarial parasites are seen along with the white blood cells. However, 
the parasites appear to be smaller in the thick film than in the thin blood films. The fine rings of cytoplasm of the trophocytes may appear incomplete or broken in thick blood films. WHO recommends that at least 100 fields, each containing approximately 20 white blood cells, be screened before calling a thick smear negative. Reporting of parasitemia in thick blood film. Infected erythrocytes are counted in relation to a predetermined number of WBCs and an average of 8000 per microliter is taken as standard. 200 leukocytes are counted in 100 fields. All parasite species and forms, including both sexual and asexual forms, are counted together. For this, two tally counters are required, one to count leukocytes and the other to counter parasites. If more than 10 parasites are counted, then the following formulae can be applied. Number of parasites divided by number of WBCs counted multiplied by 8000 gives us the number of parasites per microliter of blood. Or, if 200 leukocytes are counted, number of parasites counted multiplied by 40 gives us number of parasites per microliter of blood. If the parasites are less than 9, then 500 WBCs should be counted and the formula will be number of parasites counted multiplied by 16 will give us number of parasites per microliter of blood. Quality control. Blind testing is conducted to assess the accuracy and inter-observer variance. If feasible, inter-lab comparisons can be done once in six months with two NABL accredited labs.